Good morning, everyone. I'm not going to give you a full garden tour today. Um, I will pan the garden so you can kind of see what's going on. And we do have a second garden in the front of the house that has squash and corn, but I thought I would give you a little tomato tour. First off, these are Comahana tomatoes. Um, I got these last year from, not last year, like four years ago maybe from Baker Creek as the free seed and they just keep on giving every year. But you can see they set a pretty heavy amount of fruit for a cherry tomato and we really like the taste of them. And these are Vernissage tomatoes. Um, I believe these are the green vernissage, and there's three plants of these. But then the plants in the row behind them are black vernissage. You can kind of see them back there. And these are San Marzano Lungo, or Lunga. Um, they're doing pretty good. I had to severely prune these. Uh, I've seen other people's videos of them. Mine were like the limbs were all reaching for the ground, so to speak. So I had to trim a lot out. You can see we've got that plant. I think three more. So this one of the San Marzano Lunga, Lungo, I haven't trimmed as much or pruned as much. And you can see how those limbs are just going straight down to the ground. Um, but we do have fruit hiding under there, so. Now these are my favorite this year. These are Costaludo Genovese. Um, you know, Paul Gauci talks a lot about using Italian heirlooms, and I think he's right, because these things are just absolutely loaded with fruit. Um, these are my favorite tomato this year by far. You can see those back there too. Like that plant's just loaded down. These are Kellogg's breakfast tomatoes. And so far they're producing fairly well. Um, we got lots of flowers up here if they'll set. And then the one right behind it is also Kellogg's breakfast. And this empty pole here was a Rebecca Allen tomato. It was not producing, so we took it out. Now these are Pentano Romanesco. And again, Italian heirloom and just hanging thick with fruit. And we have a few of those in the garden. Now these are Tommy Toe tomatoes. I have two plants of these. Um, I grow these because when I was a little kid, our barn on our property had tommy toe tomatoes that grew up it every year. Uh, basically, they just reseeded themselves, you know. And my great-grandmother always called them wild tomatoes. But obviously, it was just volunteers that kept coming up every year. Um, but they just remind me of my childhood, so I always have to throw a couple of plants of these in the garden. Now, these are sun gold tomatoes. And... If they will ever ripen, they will be a nice little treat. I would have expected to already have ripe tomatoes on here. Um, I mean, I've got one, two, three, four, five branches of fruit set. So by now, I would have expected the ones on the bottom to start ripening. But so far, no dice. Now these are Abe Lincoln tomatoes. You can see they're decent size already. Um, and we're getting a decent set, let's get that bloom off of there, of tomatoes on these. Uh, and I have 
three plants of Abe Lincoln. They are my favorite slicing tomato by far. This is in my Abe Lincoln's and obviously this was a huge faciated blossom that I missed. I also have a few Amish Pace plants, but these are normally a great producer for me. This year so far, I'm not super impressed with what's going on, but our weather has been strange this year. These are Chadwick cherries, which to me, these are, this is the first year I've grown these. These are looking more like a salad et tomato than a cherry tomato. And this guy was a sucker that I decided to root. I've got a few more of those going, so I don't even remember what he is. Now these, I don't know what they are. Um, I had a few plants that the markers got misplaced, we'll say, on. And um, so I've been pruning them like they're indeterminate. And we'll see what happens with these. Uh, and then back behind these, I think these are all Bellarosa tomatoes. I'm honestly not sure. And I'm just kind of letting them go nutty because I'm afraid to prune them if they're a determinate tomato. And based on their height, I feel like they probably are a determinate tomato. So we'll see what we get there. So guys, that's pretty much it for my sweaty tomato garden tour. Um, and I hope you enjoyed seeing what tomatoes are growing in the garden. I'll see you again next time. Bye.